Welcome to day 19 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna make some UI items on Webflow be draggable and not only that, we're also gonna make them resizable just like you see here. So I'm just gonna make this quick, let's get to it. This is gonna be very simple, a very nice trick using jQuery, we're gonna make this happen. There is a lot of possibilities that you can do here. So knock yourself out with your creativity. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey because there's a lot of nice stuff coming. The clonable for this website will be in the description below. So if you wanna check it out, use it, make stuff out of it, feel free to do that. And without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly walk you through what I have built here. So basically I have this section that is 100% view height. Uh, it has that famous background, the Windows background, which reminds me of my childhood and I really love that background. And then we have uh, the header, of course, and its wrapper. And then we have this collection and the collection item is in absolute position. And then we have this draggable window so this class draggable window is what we're going to use to target uh, these items. And this draggable window is holding all the content. And then in Windows body, you can see there is like a rich text, which is very long. And we're hiding that because draggable window has overflow hidden. So it's only showing this part. Also, I have set a height for draggable window, but that's up to you and it depends on your design and what you're going to use this for. So if we view this website right now, So if we refresh here, view this website, this website's pretty static. There's nothing that's moving around. Everything is normal. Now we're going to add some jQuery magic to make this look cool. So we're going to go to our custom code section. We're going to add a style sheet to our head tag in jQuery UI style sheet. And then we're going to add some script here. So this script is calling the jQuery library. Yeah, so it's calling the jQuery library. Uh, draggable window is the element that we are targeting. And then we're just saying function draggable. So make this element draggable, basically. That's it, very simple. We save, we publish. And then now if we refresh, you're gonna see that these elements are fully draggable, very easily draggable, very smooth. You can drag it from here as well. Now we want to make these elements resizable as well. So how to do that? So basically we go back to our jQuery code and then we go here, we enter, we just paste in another line, which is, which is basically the same thing, but instead of draggable, it will just say resizable. So resizable is another function on the jQuery library. And it's, um, you can check out more about it. If you just Google resizable jQuery and you can read the docs about this. But anyways, this is a very basic move. So if we refresh now our page, so this is draggable and it is fully resizable. So you can see it's resizable. By the way, these images are from Adobe Firefly and uh, just for the sake of copyrights, they're not mine, but um, they are AI generated. So this is basically how you make your elements draggable and resizable. If I want to make this element also draggable i can just add that class draggable window to it okay it's 500 height so maybe you can just like say auto because this is a combo class so it doesn't matter and um, and then we publish and if we go here we're going to see that our heading is also draggable which is pretty cool so it's very simple, very easy way to manipulate the UI, but it can be very effective. Uh, you can open up your creativity and make great stuff here. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment if you have any comments and stay tuned for day 20 tomorrow. See you tomorrow.